Top booty. Two sisters. It's either you or you. Is this charades? Can we guess? Can we also guess? No, no. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh my God, thank you. Happy birthday to you. That was me. That's Happy me. birthday, dear Joel. Oh my God, she was singing. Happy birthday to you. Hey everybody, it's Job. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed that little vlog introduction. A lot of you left such positive comments on December Daily Day 7 in which I actually um, added a mini vlog into the intro and you all seem to like it so I think I'll try to do that more often. It's a little bit weird bringing a camera around everywhere you go but uh, today was a particularly interesting day so uh, yeah I thought I would vlog a bit and I hope you enjoyed it but let's talk about what's happening on the screen so on december 10th a lot of things happened as you can see uh we had we had the craft fair and then i went to a christmas party and that all happened uh probably yeah i think i only had like two hours uh in between both events so it was really tiring but it was still really fun so i thought i would document this day through photos and this spread is actually very very simple i feel kind of weird even showing you how i created this because it seems like such a cop out but i just had a lot of photos that i wanted to um, add into this uh journal spread so yeah i basically printed out a whole bunch of photos with my lg pocket printer and um i have a collage feature on my um, lg pocket printer app so you can print multiple photos onto one sheet of film and it, i think the film is two inches by three inches so you can get uh, a variety of different sizes of photos when you use their collaging feature and i also have a few polaroid photos so i brought my polaroid to the christmas party and to the craft fair and i only took two but uh yeah you all know film is expensive but um yeah i wanted to use the lg proc procket <laughs> the lg pocket printer since i took a whole bunch of phones Oh my gosh, I took a lot of photos using my Fujifilm X-T1. That camera actually takes wonderful photos, but it's a shame when you print these photos out that they don't turn out as nice as they look um, on a digital screen. I think the problem lies with the LG Pocket Printer. As much as I love that thing and how convenient it is, it doesn't actually beat um, any of those um, big photo printers because the quality isn't that great when you print photos you lose a lot of fine details because the zinc paper actually um, is reactive to heat and you aren't actually printing photos with traditional ink it just heats up the paper in, uh, in a certain way and that's how the image is formed so you lose a lot of detail with that but i guess that's just the part of well that's just how it is with um instant photography and instant printers you uh, sacrifice uh, details for the convenience and the, the the instant gratification of these things but it's still cool i still love it i actually was planning to sell it but i ended up keeping it and i am rambling so i should tell you what's happening on the screen so i use my stays on ink and i actually intended to stamp on that uh, polaroid photo but it's smudge and it just says hbd which is an abbreviation for happy birthday so i just covered it up with a post-it and some green ink and i just used the same um, departure stamp from kelly perky shop and then i double stamped the date or actually no maybe quadruple stamped the date with my bro uh, brilliance white ink and my date runner and my tongue is getting tight it's actually 2 a.m at the time that i am recording this voice bleh, voiceover so if i can't speak you all know the reason why um and that's the finished spread i just did the journaling with a white gel pen and actually that made it stand out a lot more and i really like how it turned out and i also forgot to mention that i layered a whole bunch of scrap um, pattern paper underneath the photo so i chose that plaid print and also this actually no i chose two two different styles of um, plaid paper that i had and then now we're going to work on the december 11th spread which is um well it's not december 11th anymore it's december 12th now but 
I worked on this on the actual day that I created this and the problem um, when I was creating this spread was I actually didn't have my camera recording I had thought I had it on but I didn't but um, the inspiration for this spread it was the prompt for um, December 11th in terms of the December nope yeah December Hobonichi challenge and today's prompt was snowflakes so I just made very simple snowflakes using my watercolor brush and my Shinhan watercolors and I used that um, pre-cut date uh, paper that I had that came with my Christmas paper pad or holiday paper pad and then I had this DEC stamped out already from maybe December Daily Day 7. I think I stamped it twice just in case but it ended up turning out alright so I have a double of that stamp so that's what I ended up using for this spread. So this spread was um, really fast actually. Um, the thing that took the longest time was this little illustration over the vellum. So basically, I cut this piece of paper to a smaller size than the actual size of one side of a spread. And then I cut an even smaller portion or a little... Well, it is smaller. It's pro it probably um, is half a centimeter smaller in width and height in terms of that... Um, wood paper wood grain paper that i journaled on so i basically cut a piece of vellum um in a smaller size to conceal my journaling and the cool thing about this is that i can write and draw over top of the vellum but you can still peek or see the writing or journaling that i did if you press down on the paper so as you all know job vellum makes a comeback i love vellum so i thought i would use it in a spread since i haven't used it in a while to be honest actually no that's a lie i did i think i used it in another spread recently but anyways um this is a prominent feature of this spread and this pattern i can't really put my finger on it it has this i don't know scandinavian feel to it but there's also an aztec print in the middle and then there's leaves i, I don't know but I really like how it turned out. It matches the whole, um, I don't know, I think it matches the vibe of the last few spreads that I've been creating. Uh, if you watch December Daily Day 8, I believe, maybe or maybe Day 9, I created that um, illustration with my Sharpie pen and I also used a Sharpie pen today. And it's very graphic and it's very... I can't really put my finger on it, but I really like how this turned out. It's very simple though. Maybe I'll come back and add something to the left page. Maybe if I need more room or if I need to add more photos to this December daily junk journal. But overall, I really liked how this turned out. And I'm sorry if I rambled and stumbled over my words a lot in this video. I always do that, but I feel like I should still apologize because it, I know it's really distracting. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. And I keep forgetting my outro. Wait, what? how does it go again? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with all your stationary obsessed friends. I did it, guys. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Bye!